Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dr. Lenz and today we're gonna go over one of my personal favorite methods to help smooth out my skin, help those fine lines, help those wrinkles. I get bags under my eyes. So I'm gonna go over one of my favorite natural methods to help my skin. But first, before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another helpful video. Plus we're gonna have more tutorials coming your way. So what is this? Thing that I like to use while well, it is the gua sha stone. This gua sha stone is available on drlinzishmet.com on my website if you'd like to gua sha with me. So today we're going to focus on the face, okay, but also we can do this on our muscles because it does help relieve tension and helps with blood flow, okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into doing the face. Here are the steps to get started with gua sha. Number one, we're going to want to make sure our face is clean. So I like to use this clear pore cleanser. I'll link it up as well. It's a nice, clean, safe face wash for us. Okay. So that's step number one, make sure your skin is clean. Step number two, you want a clean oil. So I use this cleansing oil also doubles as a face wash too. So I absolutely love that. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin with this cleansing oil. So what I'm going to do here is just put it all along my face, even under my chin. I want this oil my lips, under my eyes, and up here and on my forehead. So the purpose of this is I really want the gua sha stone to glide against my skin. I do not want to pull or drag the skin. Now that we have the skin prep, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so how do we hold the gua sha stone? I'm gonna start up on my forehead. This is where I like to start. We're gonna hold it at an angle and an angle like so. And then we're going to Glide lightly upwards and towards the end of the forehead at the top. And so what I'm going to do is hold the tissue down, drag up lightly, back and forth. And I'm not going to spend too much time on one area. Just when it, you know, slightly gets red like this, stop. You're always going to want to drag it to, to the end. And then at the end of this, we're going to drag it down to our lymph. We have lymph nodes right here. So you want to get that gunk that we're dragging and you're going to drag it down to the lymph nodes. Okay, so that's the first part I like to do. My forehead up, up, up. Then we drag and drag. So I like to use this flat part on my forehead. Then before we move on, I like to do between my brows. I get some wrinkles right here. So this has really helped my fine lines. So again, I'm just doing light little strokes with the edge of this, light little strokes. And I do this about two, three times a week. Some are quicker than others, right? I don't always follow, follow this exact method. And since I am scraping in through here, I'm going to drag it up and then bring it down to the lymph. Okay, so that's the forehead area. I, I do have, you know, fine lines in through here. Also, if you get tension headaches in through here, this is really great to use because we do have muscles on our face. Okay, so next we're going to do the brows here. I like to just really lightly, in through here I get puffiness sometimes and it's nice to stimulate the skin, but it's very delicate. So I just take the edge here and I draw it over to the end. Remember, always go to the end of the face to the end. So I'm just drawing over that. Sometimes I'll go over the brows real light. I get some tension in my eyebrows here, here, and then we're going to drag down to, to the lymph. Now again on this side, and I'm always at an angle. So I'm always at an angle dragging, always at an angle dragging. Just a nice little glide down to the lymph. Okay, so that was the brows. Now we're gonna go under the eyes and I'm just working my way down here, okay? So under the eyes, you can use different parts of this stone. You can use this little um, guy right here. I'm holding it here. And again, hold that tissue and we're going to have it at an angle, lightly pulling. Again, not dragging the skin. Just a few times here. You can do a little jiggle, a little shake at the end. And for this, I am kind of gliding up because I want to pull that skin up. We're stimulating blood flow, getting out that pumpiness, and then we're dragging it down. Okay, I'm going to go over this one quickly. 
here and we're coming down. All right, for the eyebrows too, I can kind of pull them up a little bit. Gonna look at a little lift here and it feels very good and therapeutic. Okay, one of my favorite parts we're gonna do under the cheekbone. So right under here, I'm gonna take this knuckle of the gua sha stone. I'm gonna hold my nose to the side. We're gonna go right under the cheekbone and up, under the cheekbone and up to the end, under the cheekbone up. Good, I did that about three, four times. And then we're gonna repeat up, 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 drag down, take that, drag it down. Okay, one of my other favorites in through here, our jawline. So we're gonna take this little divot on the stone. We're going to hold it at an angle again. And we're gonna come up under the jawline and this feels really good. We got that TMJ in through here, it can get very tight and tender. So this also helps relieve that tension stimulating that blood flow and nutrients to the area. And then at the end here, make sure we're going down to that lymph. Let's switch sides. So this is my little demo here, what I like to do for my face. And like I said, I do this a couple times a week. This doesn't take me that long when I'm not talking through it. So it's something quickly I can do in the morning or at night on the weekends. Okay, and then double chin at time. I just take the flat head like I do here, and we're gonna go really light, just under, and then I stop right before our thyroid gland. And again, I just go real light, and I just do that part just a few times. So overall, with this Gua Sha Stone, I like to use it on my forehead, work my way down, and then make sure we're pushing that to the lymph, which is what we're going to do always when we're using a Gua Sha Stone or dry brushing, we're always going to brush to the lymph, okay, to get that gunk out. With the Gua Sha Stone, you can find this in my bio here in the description, excuse me, and this is located on my website. So this was our tutorial for the face. We're getting rid of those fine lines, wrinkles, helping relieve that tension, getting some blood flow going on. If you guys like this video, let me know below in the comments. Give this a thumbs up. Love you guys so much. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.